everybody. Oh, no. we haven't we haven't done this in such a long time. I'm not really sure I remember I, how it I'm goes. Seriously, I'm sorry for talking over you, but welcome. No, please. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to us. So today we went to a Dollar Tree that we had given up on because often the aisles are blocked off by boxes. Like it's just not staffed well enough, I think, to do stock, yeah. which is a drag because it's a really nice location. Um, and we gave it another chance. And I think today it went really well. There was only one aisle blocked off. Yeah. I will say, I mean, other people who go to Dollar Tree, do you guys have this where, again, like they have more stock than they have people to put it out. And so you could have multiple aisles in the store blocked off with boxes for days. Uh, 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 days at a time. It seems like months for us. But yeah, really. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, like, we don't go every day, so every time we go, there's like three aisles blocked off. And yeah. it could be like two days later, they're not. So anyway, one aisle, let's take one aisle. One, one aisle, aisle is was okay, is, is and it was like the, the, in our store, it's the aisle that has like laundry, like so it's like hangers, Right, car mats. accessories with that, with that aisle? No, 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 okay. no. All right. it was uh, like the, 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 the one with like mops, like the Swiffer Got it. pads, and then it's like socks. Okay. It's a kind of a strange aisle. I like that aisle. It has a lot of good stuff, but it was okay. Generally, it's the one with like electronics, and that makes me upset. Oh, anyway, yeah, of course. Tell us about your seeds, my know, dear. I, I, we had a unfortunately not so great experience at the Christmas tree shop the day oh, before. It kind of sucked. A drag. Say. It was a drag. Um, they had, and that's far away. Like we go, we have to travel 15 minutes, let's say, to the Dollar Tree. So if it's Stinkeroony, it's like well. This is like a half hour ride. Yeah. And then, so anyway, so they all they had was squash. <laughs> they usually had great sales, but here they had some a lovely array of flowers, and I got and some, squash. And I <laughs> squash. I did, but that's the only vegetable they had left. But you know, I was like, I've had a good time with these, and I realized I hadn't gotten any of the flower stuff, so oh. I'm gonna go for it. It's still ridiculously hot, and who knows? Who knows? Um, moving on to food. Speaking of hot, we got some Kool Aid pops. Um, sometimes you just want a little freezy pop. Exactly. We had used up all our food coloring at Easter, so we I sure got did. some more of that just because I happened to see it. Uh, the Bear Grams, we've gotten the chocolate chip of these, and they were real nice. They so we got really some nice. more. They're popular in the delivery sure uh, person are. basket. We have snacks and, and drink beverages out for people who deliver. Uh, these asparagus spears, very popular with uh, the family. The family, yes. And they're good until like 2025. So if you're. So. Right? So if you're <laughs> stockpiling food, I would go with the asparagus. You always get two cans and A give good it to the source family. of some sort of nutrients and definitely salt. Exactly, definitely salt. <laughs> Who doesn't love that? Uh, and then just a little pack of the fun size Snickers. Um, we had books in the store books. for the first you time ever. Just, you know, crosswords and Sudoku's and other. Yeah, yeah. Good Sometimes kind of like a coloring book for kids. Some hardcover books. So we thought maybe Dolly would enjoy this one. Yeah, I don't it's think I a told memoir, it. a love story, and a friendship across time. So this has a couple of things that Dolly likes: Victorians, yes, romantics, and time. Exactly. I, th I couldn't things. go wrong. I figured with yeah. this one, so I had to so we'll surprise see. her with that. And then Dad Magazine, which I'm sure they put out for Father's Day. Yeah, it's, it's like a compilation. It's thick though. It's, it's like really, a compilation. It's, yeah, it's like the anniversary issue or something. But the selling point was. Are your glasses missing? You felt very seen. <laughs> I did, I did. I had to get it because I'm constantly losing my glasses. Perfect. Uh, I got this glass that said my horoscope told me this would happen to keep my incense sticks in. <laughs> completely unironic. Uh, they had a St. Jude candle as a big fan of impossible causes. I had to get that one. Yeah, it's got it. the prayer on the back in English and Spanish, which is really nice. I mean, it's great. Um, and yeah, they were really stacked up on it's, on, it's a nice candle. Candles. Yeah, they also had uh, the version of Guadalupe and oh, now I don't remember what else, but I was like, Michael? Michael? That's it, uh, it I think it was St. Michael. Um, we got a, some lighters. These short Crocs uh, torchy lighters are so nice. Love these, love these. And then um, just like plain old scripto, just nice. to have handy. Again, we're always lighting incense <laughs> and candles we and are. stuff like that. We got a bunch of D batteries because we're going on a short trip which ends up being a big deal. We have contractors in the house, we have a house sitter, we have a cat sitter, the neighbor looking in, and still, like, every time you go away for more than a day, it's like a whole saga. It's a saga. The D batteries run a, a cat, feeder. cat feeder. Not that they're not getting fed by the cat sitter, but I'm like, what if one of them doesn't want to come down, you know, like, honestly. <laughs> they're very uh, spoiled, these They cats. are very spoiled. So we got some D batteries to run that. Uh, in the 
what, what do you call this stuff? Like Bath and Body? Bath, yeah, the Bath and the Body. The drugstore drug type store, stuff? yes. Got some body powder. These Epsom salt tablets sounded really nice. You can plop them in the bath. And it's like less messy than the salts. Also sounded like it would be good for like a foot soak. Like if you put them in a little tub just to soak your feet. They're about that big. Yeah. Whoop. And you just plonk them in. Nice. We got some small toothpaste because again, we're going to be away for a short time. Exactly. Uh, I liked this Salon Selective's leave-in treatment. Well, oh, I'm nice. sorry, it's not a leave-in treatment. <laughs> it's a rinse-out treatment, but it's, um, every way I turn it is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, argan oil uh, for damage. And I found that it, it worked really nicely. I had, before I had a haircut, my hair was like straw and that helped with it a bunch. Nice. No, it's fine because I got a haircut. Uh, facial hair remover. I don't know what this is, <laughs> but I was intrigued. Very intrigued by it. So it says, holding the handle, gently press the coil directly on the hair and glide upwards. Listen, hey. the next time you see me, not that you ever see me, <laughs> I have a big, you know, cut, you know what? Um, this is a headband and it's so pretty. Look, black with little parts. Yeah, I really like that. Parts. It's very nice. It's got the elastic here and then it makes a, that little knot at the top. That's perfect. That'll be nice to get your well, hair fun. away in the hot, hot, hot. weather. Yeah. Uh, just got an update on our nail brushes. These pain relief patches, they're very small. Um, there's 20, it looks like they're, but yeah, two inches by an inch and a half. Sometimes you have a small little area you need to. But they show them kind of like, it's almost like a band-aid of, I guess, pain medicine. Yeah. So it's camphor, menthol, and methyl, salad, whatever that is. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. We got some more of that toilet spray. Good to have, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, permanent mounting tape. Okay. 20 pounds. This was intriguing to me. Wow. We'll see if I ever remember to use it, and if Ooh. so, how it goes. <laughs> uh, just a, a USB C. Always cord. can't go wrong with those. Gotta have those. Gotta have those. For the non Apple device. That's right. Like. That's right. I mean, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can we just take a moment to, to revel Let's in Let's just cuteness? enjoy this guy for a little while. I mean. Well. <laughs> well. He really fits into our house because he has rocks and we've had to put rocks in all our plants because our new cat, you can see right there. <laughs> our new cat uh, thinks that anything with dirt is for peeping or pooping. <laughs> so now we have rocks in all our plants and so does this. Yes, it's perfect. What are you crying they're, about? They're, they're are they crying. fighting? Yeah. Here's an inflatable flamingo. How cute is he? Will Might we? Be a present Might be for a present. somebody. Or if the person doesn't want it, we'll just throw it in our pool. In a pool. And by pool, to be clear, we have an inflatable hot tub that we don't heat. Uh, Short Term <laughs> 12 is an excellent film. They had it on Blu-ray for a dollar. Who am I to turn it down? I'm sure we already have it on Blu-ray. But a thing I like about this particular version is that it says the stars are Brie Larson and John Gallagher Jr., which is accurate. <laughs> uh, big fan of John Gallagher Jr. Look at that guy. Um, who's also a great musician. Um, Rami Malek's also in this film. Yeah. And Caitlin Deaver is in it, Rami Malek. Oh, Keith Stanfeld. The movie's been coming up a lot lately because the director is now directing some big, big wig films. Oh, wonderful. And so the Short Term 12, who is the director? Let me tell you, this movie is a downer, but it's wonderful. It is it's really, really good, so but good. I can't even tell you, but like, but there is he, he and or she is directing something. So Short Term Twelve keeps popping up in my. Uh, oh, Destin Daniel Cretton. That's right. Okay. There we go. Excellent. It was an excellent movie. Yes. It's from a few. I don't know. Maybe Moons eight ago. years ago. <laughs> uh, we got some smelly glades lemon and can't go with the lemon and the berry ones. The lemon is a nice uh, freshness. It's really, really nice. Um, just some garbage bags. Uh, the LA's totally awesome uh, method dupes. So we Look got um, the cherry blossom all purpose, which is good for the kitchen. Uh, it's gonna be great. And then the uh, fresh scent, whatever that means, uh, bathroom cleaner. I got it uh, just for even a shower like, cleaner. And just even like the shape. Oh yeah, yeah you had like the- it was great. The, and yeah. I looked for it again today and unfortunately couldn't find it, but it is amazing. The LA's totally awesome method style, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, it really does. It. You spray it and you just wipe and it just clean. I mean, it's really, I mean. I mean, and for a dollar. And it's a, a nice- These are good, yeah, these are- It's a nice bottle. Really nice bottle. Uh, I got some Spick and Span lavender antibacterial anti-COVID. Pine Glow Ocean. Right, what a smell on this! Let me tell you. I mean, it I was love Pine Glow. Delightful. And Pine Glow Ocean, really good. And then from the electric world, I you know get floodlights whenever they have them because um, those are good to have. They have the LED floodlights. A pack of two for one dollar. It's the warm white 
65 watt replacement. So like if you have can lighting in your house, it's a Perfect. good swap out for that. And then they had these like filament style 40 watts. Um, I usually spend a lot more money than that. Yeah, <laughs> no, seriously. So what I thought I'd give those a try. It looks like, um, I want to say cathedral and that's fine. It looks like candelabra bottom, candelabra, which I generally it. don't well, need, but I'm sure I could use them somewhere. <laughs> so this is our first Dollar Tree haul in ages. We had a good time. And yeah, 43 bucks and change. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. For a lot of stuff. For a lot of stuff. There's one more flamingo one thing in the car. One missing flamingo in the car. <clears throat> but it's, again, it's being gifted, so. Here's this guy again. I think the Look at him. the doodles may want to say hi too. <laughs> say hi. Hi guys. Say hi. Hello, baby. Hi guys. Pizzy. <laughs> Let's go. They're they're not that interested. <laughs> All right. Well, it's hot. It's hot. We're gonna go have some breakfast. That's actually lunch and. We'll see you again soon. Bye, we everyone. Hope. Click, subscribe, wonderful... questions. Yeah, please. And tell us about your your pet peeve at your Dollar Tree. Yes. I'm going to say mine is definitely the uh, boxes blocking the aisles. Aisle blocking. Like, yeah. let me spend my money. That's what I'm trying to do. But I know it's definitely, like, they're just not staffed well. Yeah. And I do get Certainly jealous. Certainly not like people aren't working hard. Other people's Dollar Trees of, of inventory oh, that we don't get. I know. So that's other pet peeve. It's inventory. It's inventory. <laughs> I mean, we're New York City adjacent, so yeah. the stores are only so big. Exactly. Um, <laughs> But yeah, let us know what your Dollar Tree pet peeves are. Obviously, we all love the buys and so oh, many things about it. Yeah. But, you know, there are things that annoy you. Um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Stay cool. Stay cool, guys. Bye. Bye.